here today to honor Mark Polly. I'm Dan Polsky, Executive Director of the Leonard Davis Institute of Health Economics. It's a perfect time for us to celebrate Mark Polly here at the 50th anniversary since Mark has had an impact on LDI that is unmatched. I'm sure others will mention the many ways he's uh, had an impact in scholarship and in policy uh, over his uh, tenure here at Penn and from his time uh, even before he came uh, to Penn. So it's really a great honor um, to have this opportunity to uh, celebrate Mark and all the great things that he has accomplished in his uh, distinguished and ongoing career. My name is Brian Dowd. I'm a professor in the Division of Health Policy and Management at the University of Minnesota and a graduate of the Fells School of Public and Urban Policy at the University of Pennsylvania. I left Penn just about the time that Mark Pauley arrived. Uh, timing has never been my strong suit, but fortunately that miscalculation on my part didn't prevent me from being Mark's student for the rest of my career. And that's a characteristic that I share with all other health economists. In an amazing cohort of pioneering health economists, Mark remains for me the clearest thinker, the most lucid writer, the most influential policy analyst, and the kindest person that I've encountered. Congratulations to LDI on your 50th anniversary, and thank you, Mark, for everything that you have taught all of us for all these years. My name is Amy Justice. I am a tenured professor of medicine and public health at Yale University, and I had the intellectual challenge and personal pleasure of studying under Mark Pauley's guidance as a doctoral student in healthcare systems at Wharton. Mark is important to me because he is a shining example of what is right about academics for three reasons. First, he's brutally honest, first with himself, making him remarkably humble despite his accomplishments, and thankfully a bit more gently honest with others. He believes in truth, not political correctness, party affiliation, or popular thought. He understood what it is to be human as well. Mark frequently invited our group of doctoral students to his home for dinner. When I graduated, he treated my recently widowed mother like royalty. He has modeled excellence and long-term commitment as a mentor. Over the years, Mark has been given me sage advice at times whenever I have asked. Once again, I am trying to follow his lead. My name is Raynard Kington. I am an alum of the MBA and the PhD program at Wharton in Health Care Systems. Um, I am currently president of Grinnell College in Iowa. One of the reasons why I uh, ended up uh, entering the doctoral program at Wharton was because of Mark. Um, I remember reading uh, his paper on moral hazard and was just incredibly impressed that, that the person who wrote that paper was, was at Penn and I could actually talk to him. Mark was on my dissertation committee, always supportive and enthusiastic, a bit droll, um, but, but I, I got accustomed to that. Mark, uh, you've had a huge impact on healthcare policy in the United States. You're incredibly respected in your field and made a real contribution in this area of economics. I'll just end by saying that you had a huge influence on me and I uh, encourage you to continue writing more papers. Um, they have an impact. Hi, Mark. My name is Andrea Puig, and I have the privilege of being a student of Mark, both at the undergrad and the grad levels. Mark was a fantastic mentor to me. He was always able to challenge my ideas, but did so in a helpful way. Always open to what I had to say, but also always really helping me think through the issues. I think my favorite polism was during healthcare seminars, when Mark would sit in a seminar and lean forward, close his eyes. And if you didn't know Mark, you might think that he was sleeping. He wouldn't be the first faculty member to do so during a seminar. But that was not the case with Mark. He would always have the most insightful and powerful question and would make the lecturer really think through all his or her assumptions. So that's Mark to me, a really generous, smart, a fantastic man.
Thank you, Mike, for all what you have done for us. And please do come to Sydney. It's beautiful here. Mark Pauly had an enormous influence on my career. He was my PhD dissertation advisor, and I spent many hours meeting with Mark as a PhD student, and many more hours preparing for meetings with Mark and being terrified that he was going to think that I didn't have any good ideas and wasn't very smart. Mark was not someone who would coddle his students. We learned very quickly that we needed to be prepared for meetings and that we needed to have a pretty clear agenda in terms of what we wanted to get out of our meetings. But anything we'd ask him about, he had so much wisdom that by osmosis, every meeting, I would learn a lot. He helped me learn the craft of the trade, helped me figure out how to navigate the academic job market. Very importantly, he helped me learn how to ask a good question, a very important and perhaps underrated skill in academia. All in all, I owe a lot to Mark. Without his influence, I don't know if I would have become a successful academic. Hi, I'm Jose Escarce. I first met Mark a few days before I started my doctoral studies. I would go in to see Mark and ask him for advice, and he would lean back in his chair and look up at the ceiling, and after two or three seconds, he would tell me what he thought I should do. One day I went in and I asked him for advice, and he leaned back in his chair, and he looked at the ceiling, and he kind of closed his eyes, and he didn't say anything for what seemed like an eternity. So finally I said, Mark, are you all right? And he said, oh, sure, it's just that this time you have a really difficult utility maximization problem. And I thought, wow, he lives the theory. I know I owe a big chunk of any success I've had to him. So I want to finish with a toast to Mark. After all, I'm in California. To one of the leading health economists of our time, and more important, to a really wonderful man. Thank you, Mark. I'm Beverly Bradway, class of 91. So it's been 26 years since I've been on that campus as a student but I'm delighted to contribute something on behalf of Dr. Mark Pauly. What comes to mind with him, it's approachability. And for me, his approachability was a gift. Not, not just me, but all others who wanted to learn and ask questions and be inspired. I think of Dr. Pauly as a dedicated academic and researcher who valued sharing and contributing to the classroom dialogue, while notably serving as one of the leading voices in healthcare management and economics. Dr. Polly, you represent the very best of Wharton. Hi, Mark. Uh, it's Andy Epstein. I'm here at Mount Rushmore in South Dakota. Uh, good news, there's room on the mountain for your visage. I haven't found anyone to start sculpting yet, but I'm working on it. My favorite memory of you, Mark, is the time I walked into your office for my dissertation meeting, and you told me to look at the textbook that you wrote 20 years earlier about the topic that I thought I actually knew more than you about. Sad. Congratulations, Mark. You're the best. Mark is really, he's just funny. He's funny in seminars. He's funny in meetings. He's funny when he teaches. It's kind of that dry, witty, academic kind of humor. But Mark is always funny. So, yep, I'm going with funny. Hi, I'm Scott Johnson, and it's my pleasure to be able to talk uh, about the very fond memories I have of Mark Pauly. Mark is hilarious. I was his TA in health economics for two semesters, and his uh, class is like a Vegas show, basically. I mean, it is spectacular. The jokes are just coming one after another after another. Zingers here, there, everywhere. And most of them go over the student's head, but taking the course twice in a row, you really get to see the depth of his humor. At any rate, if I had one baseball card of an economist, it would be the Mark Polly baseball card. Thank you, Mark. Hi, I'm Gilbert Gim, a 2005 graduate of the PhD program. Uh, Mark was my dissertation chair, and if I had to uh, describe Mark's uh, influence as a mentor uh, in two words, I would say encouraging and witty. When I was a, a teaching assistant for his uh, HCMG 202 course, or Health Economics for Undergrads, I was struck by in one lecture he combined the concept of moral hazard and a reference to Puff Daddy, uh, a hip-hop artist and rap artist. Um, and I was again amazed by his uh, recollection of pop cultural references 
uh, as well as important uh, economic concepts. Mark's reputation precedes him and has opened a lot of doors for me throughout my professional career, both in academia and also at Mathematica. Um, being known as one of Mark's students uh, has carried a lot of weight in the field of health economics. My name is Stacy McMorrow, and it would be hard for me to overstate the impact that uh, Mark has had on my career and on my life. I found myself applying to doctoral programs in health economics. And one of my favorite moments with Mark really came during that application process. Um, I had been admitted to the program and I was struggling to decide which program to attend. And I had sent Mark a few questions via email and he had gotten back to me and responded to all my questions. But in his response, he included his home phone number and he told me that I should feel free to call him over the weekend but that I shouldn't worry if he didn't pick up because he was going to be painting his ceiling, but he would be sure to call me back. And I just remember being totally overwhelmed um, and blown away by that um, because I knew Mark was brilliant and I was a little bit intimidated about the idea of working with him, but suddenly I also realized that he was incredibly kind and down to earth and I will be forever grateful. So thank you, Mark. Hi, this is Jeff Silber. I'm thrilled to be able to contribute to this celebration of Mark Pauley. I received my PhD under Mark in 1990. I think that failure to rescue was a topic that was not the usual Pauley thesis, but uh, he embraced it. And the thing about Mark is that he elevates every discussion. I think I don't think I've ever seen uh, him speak at any setting, be it a formal setting or an informal setting, where he hasn't elevated the discussion and uh, uh, contributed to some uh, furthering of the thought process for whatever topic we're talking about. Hi, I'm Ki Tech Jong, graduated 1992 and currently Vice President of Gyeonggi University in Seoul, Korea. Mark Pauly is a crystallizer of health economics for me. He showed me what a scholar should be throughout his life and influenced me to be a market-based health economist and I established Mark Pauly School of Scholar in the Korean healthcare sector. One anecdote was in uh, 2005, I invited him over to Korea. He made a great keynote speech and it was the first healthcare session in the Korea's most famous knowledge forum. Influenced by Mark, now they have many healthcare sessions. Even if I cannot meet with him often, he's like my father at home in Philly. Best wishes for Dr. Pauli. Hi, this is Marty Gaynor, and I'm pleased to be recording this video uh, for Mark Pauly. He's had a profound influence on me. I'm not sure how clear a thinker I am, but I'd surely be much less of one had I not had Mark as my advisor. Mark really brought serious economic thinking to health economics, and by doing that, I, I think he really, really had a profound and deep and important and positive influence on the field. But not only that, uh, by doing that, he also connected the field much more closely to general economics, which I think also improved the, the flow of ideas and improved the, uh, the intellectual rigor and the scientific validity and importance of research in, in health economics. So anyhow, uh, thank you so much, Mark. I owe you a tremendous intellectual debt that can never be repaid. And uh, I think that I, I and Shelley White Means have the distinction of being the very last PhD students that you advised uh, at Northwestern before you, you left for, for Penn. This is Yen speaking from China. Dr. Pauli is a terrific and inspiring advisor. I will be for lifelong greatly indebted. Thank you, Dr. Pauli. I've been teaching health economics at the graduate and undergraduate level for almost 20 years now at Yale University, and I have one person to give the greatest credit to, and that is Mark Pauley. I have learned a great deal from Mark, 
have appreciated his dry, dry humor that always brings a smile to my face, and I'm truly sorry I can't be with him and all of you tonight to celebrate his many contributions. To students, colleagues here at Penn and elsewhere, and to, so to society. However, my wife Gail and I will be toasting him from afar. My name is Ellie Prager and Mark Pauly signed off on my dissertation just one year ago. Mark is always asking the difficult questions. You know, he always gives every idea that comes across his desk full consideration. Um, frankly, you know, I think this is because Mark just can't fathom that not everyone thinks as deeply and carefully as he does about economics or policy or anything else. And he moves through the world assuming the best about everyone's intellectual contributions. And I think as a result of that, sets the bar high for the rest of us and forces us to want to meet that bar. I'm Tom Graneman. I met Mark Pauly in 1976 when I was a first year graduate student at Northwestern. I learned a lot from Mark uh, in public finance and health economics. Um, over the years, we've co-authored a number of papers and uh, books together on Medicaid policy. And uh, one of the other areas where I think I've really uh, brought to bear some of the things I learned from him was in uh, all my work I've done for Medicare and Medicaid, where much of my work, whether at Mathematica or uh, New Hampshire Medicaid or CMS or OMB, uh, has always been about uh, trying not to overpay for Medicaid and Medicare services beyond the point of diminishing value. So I think I learned that lesson pretty well from Mark. And thanks, thank you, Mark. This is Brad Herring, uh, class of 2000. Um, get the question a lot, what's it like to work with uh, Mark Pauly? Um, well, short answer is it's, it's awesome. It's been uh, a great uh, experience, first training with Mark, but then subsequently um, collaborating with him. Um, I've learned so much about uh, health economics. It's been great to seek advice uh, professionally, but I think even more importantly, um, just personally, right? So uh, Mark came uh, to my wedding. Uh, Mark asked about uh, my wife, my kids. Mark has just been a, a perfect mentor for me, um, and uh, I thank him so much uh, for everything. Hi, my name is Xiaoran Li. I'm worked in healthcare 1996. Professor Pauli is very important to my career, as well as to another two people in my family. We all started our career by taking Healthcare 101. I wish Professor Pauli all the best. This is Rob Lieberthal. Mark was my advisor and mentor during my time at Wharton. Um, as a mentor, he managed to see and articulate the contributions that I could make uh, to the field uh, before I even knew that there was a field to contribute to. Um, so that's been tremendously important to me and I'm still drawing on those uh, insights that Mark had today. Um, I appreciate all the guidance that he gives and the contribution to our field. Uh, mazel tov, Mark. Um, you've been a, a giant uh, to us all. So my name is Helena Shrek and I was very fortunate to have Mark Pauly as my advisor. Uh, Nuno, my husband, and I were both really fortunate to have him come and visit us in Portugal for our wedding. Uh, so thank you, Mark, for all of that. I want to honor Mark for a singular accomplishment of his, which is he is the father of the Affordable Care Act. I show the lineage right here. This is my Hooray for the ACA Wall of Fame. The first item on the Wall of Fame is Mark Pauly's plan for responsible national health insurance in 1991. And Mark was the one who laid it all out. Mark, congratulations to you. A wonderful accomplishment. I just wanted to say hello and congratulations on reaching this milestone in your teaching career. I think of your superpower as uh, your ability to keep your door open and still get things done. It's something that I, I definitely took for granted as a grad student. But anyway, I, I wanted to say thank you and congratulations. And um, please just know that thank you doesn't quite cover the deep gratitude I have for, for what you've done for me. Hi, Mark. This is Li Wei. I wanted to tell you that you are the reason I applied to our healthcare PhD program in the first place. You helped shape my research and my approach to research. 
I must also thank you for having made me PI of our South Africa project. I mean, your dedication to helping a fledgling graduate of our program will forever be remembered. I feel my life is fulfilled because I came to our program. I love you, Mark, and thank you for everything. My name is Nora Becker, and I graduated from the HCMG PhD program in 2015, and Mark Polly was my dissertation committee chair. The impact Mark has had on my life is tremendous, and I had an amazing experience in the program, and I never could have done it if he hadn't uh, believed me. So Mark, thank you so much for your faith in me and your support of, um, of my work, and uh, Congratulations. I wish I could be there. So I first met Mark Pauly during my interview for the PhD program. And I remember leaving his office amazed at how knowledgeable, insightful, kind, and approachable he was. So Mark was actually the first faculty member that I ever approached to conduct research with. Now, years later, I am so honored and grateful that he served as my dissertation committee chair, helped to hood me, and watch me graduate. Mark, thank you for your incredible mentorship, your encouragement, your endless support, and all your generosity and kindness. I am so thankful to have been a Mark Pauly student. Hi, I'm Fred Blavin. Um, everyone here knows that Mark is one of the greatest health economists of our time. His reputation, publication record, and witty lectures speak for themselves. But that only explains a fraction of why so many of us are here today. Um, and. Uh, why we put together these videos. Hi, this is Rocky Lee. Just making a short remark uh, on Mark Pauly's impact on me as uh, one of my mentors from graduate school. The amazing part about Mark uh, was, as a mentor, was no matter how out there I was, he didn't let me flail very long, and he would always step up next to me figuratively and be brave enough to support what I was doing, uh, make the idea better, and give me the confidence to then communicate it with others. It's against all odds I've become a faculty member, and uh, again, all of this I think is due to Mark and the department, and for that I'm forever grateful. Thank you. Personally, I've learned so much uh, from Mark. I've been at Penn for 25 years, and in my early years as a student, I learned from Mark by reading his articles and his great um, contributions to the literature. As a junior faculty member here, he helped me so much um, establish myself within the discipline of health economics with his uh, gentle and kind ways of pushing me to think uh, more clearly and more deeply about um, the problems facing our, our health system. Uh, and in the past five years, I've had the privilege of having an office right next to him. So he's really quite a mind, and it's just a great privilege to have an office uh, right next to his. I continue to learn so much from you, Mark. Um, I appreciate you very much, and, and uh, I look forward to our conversations in front of the water cooler.